This is the innovative High Torque Stealth, the most advanced, limited clearance hydraulic torque tool on the planet. Modern industrial bolting demands power, accuracy, and versatility, all in a compact, rugged package. That's what you get with the Stealth, and because it carries the High Torque name, you know it is made with the finest of materials, fit, and finish that 40 years of innovation and excellence can produce. Let's take a closer look at the Stealth and point out some of its award-winning features. Then, let's put it to work. Like all high-torque narrow clearance tools, the Stealth is made to fit into tight spaces where a square drive and socket can't fit. Protruding studs, no problem, since the Stealth easily slips over the stud to engage the nut. The Stealth is made up of two parts the power head with its hydraulic cylinder and hose connectors, and one of a range of interchangeable ratcheting socket links to fit the nut or bolt to be tightened. These exchangeable stealth hex links can be quick connected to the power head, tool free and pin free in seconds. The stealth is no wider than the nut it tightens and it lays flat against the flange. Its 360 by 180 degree hose swivel provides unequaled access in even the most restricted spaces. A detachable safety handle adjusts to any position to keep the operator's hands out of danger. Like all high torque wrenches, the Stealth comes in various sizes numbered to indicate their maximum torque capacity at full pump pressure. For example, a Stealth 2 will produce approximately 2,000 foot-pounds of torque at the maximum pump pressure of 10,000 psi while a Stealth 4 will deliver about 4,000 foot-pounds at that same pump pressure. Each model wrench has an array of different size ratcheting links that fit the nuts and bolts appropriate for its power range. The links simply click into the power head, tool-free and pin-free, making it a one-piece unit. Changing direction from tighten to loosen with the narrow clearance Stealth is simply a matter of turning the tool over so that the advancing piston drives the nut in the desired direction. Let's take a look at the Stealth in action. Before we begin, we should first put on our personal protective equipment. At a minimum, this should include safety glasses with side shields, sturdy gloves, and steel-toed shoes. Of course, job conditions and local work rules may require other safety items, such as hearing protection, face shields, hard hats, and fire or chemical-resistant clothing. Nothing is as important or as urgent as your safety. Check the condition of the hoses, connectors, and the general condition of the tool and accessories for any obvious damage. Any defects must be corrected before pressurizing the system. The Stealth is powered by hydraulic oil from a pressure-regulated pump system connected to the tool by special high-test hoses. Note that both the male and female unions feature a small spring-loaded check ball which must be fully seated for the oil to pass. Ensure that the hydraulic hoses are firmly screwed to the tool's hose connectors using only finger-tight force. Even the slightest loosening of the threaded connector will shut off the flow of oil, preventing a high-pressure leak. Do not defeat this important safety feature by substituting other connectors that may not be rated for these 10,000 PSI pressures. Let's assume that the job at hand is tightening this inch and a half grade B7 stud and a 2 and 3 8 nut using this Stealth 2. Let's further assume that the target torque for this bolt is 640 foot pounds. As the term foot pound implies, that is a tightening force equal to 640 pounds at the end of a one foot long bar. That's a lot of torque. Since the output torque of the tool is set by regulating the pump pressure, we must consult a pressure torque conversion chart for the specific tool we are using, in this case the Stealth 2. Reading down the foot-pound column, we find 638, which is very close to our target. Moving across to the left column, we find the corresponding pressure setting is 3,400 PSI. You can interpolate the values if your target number is not shown exactly. The chart also allows you to convert torque in kilogram meters or newton meters to PSI or to pressure in bar as needed. 
Often bolts are required to be tightened in increments rather than all at once. This is done by simply choosing a lower pressure corresponding to the percentage of final torque desired on each pass. Reset the pressure in stages until the final value is reached. But for our demonstration, we will simply tighten to the target torque without any intermediate steps. With the pump set at 3400 PSI, we are ready to go to work. A 2 and 3 8 ratcheting hex link should be attached to the Stealth 2 power head and the safety handle should be attached. Place the tool onto the nut in the tightening direction, checking to make sure that the reaction point is secure, the wrench is fully engaged, and the hoses are not in danger of being kinked or damaged. It's a good idea to bump the control button before starting to tighten, just to check to see how the wrench will react under pressure. By pressing and releasing the pump remote control, ratchet the wrench until it stalls at the preset pressure and the nut will no longer turn. Be patient on the last few strokes as the socket will move very slowly. If in doubt, always try another stroke. Remove and reposition the wrench on the next nut to be tightened. When removing a nut or bolt, we are not concerned with an exact torque value, only that our tool has sufficient power to break it loose. Turn the pressure up on the pump to at or near maximum, giving the wrench its full power. Reverse the direction of the stealth by simply turning it over so that when the piston advances it will turn the nut in a counterclockwise direction. Fit the wrench, once again checking the reaction point and the hoses for proper position. Bump the button and observe the wrench to make sure it is secure. Press and hold the actuator button until the nut moves counterclockwise. Continue to loosen until it can be removed by hand. If the nut will not move at 10,000 PSI, you will need a larger wrench with more power. So there you have it. The Stealth, the most advanced limited clearance hydraulic torque machine ever made. Please ask your local high torque representative to demonstrate the Stealth on your applications and let you appreciate its advantages.